What, what Allah said in the Quran about Jesus, Son of Mary, peace be upon him, Part 1. In the name of Allah, the most compassionate. The most merciful praise be to Allah. I have read what our brother Sheikh Awad Abdullah al-Mutak wrote about Allah's slave and messenger, the Messiah, Jesus. Son of Mary, peace be upon him and upon his mother and may Allah's peace and blessings be upon our Prophet. I found his words to be true and useful. They are founded on what Allah Almighty has mentioned in the Noble Quran about that honorable Prophet and his mother, and in accordance with the belief that the Muslims hold regarding both of them. May Allah benefit the people by the author's knowledge, and may he guide us and him to do righteous deeds. May Allah's peace and blessings be upon our Prophet Muhammad, and upon his family and companions. Written by Salih Ibn Fawzan al Fawzan, member of the Council of Senior Scholars on 23 5 14 39 AH. Introduction Praise be to Allah and may Allah's peace and blessings be upon the Messenger of Allah. To proceed, given the need of some readers to know about what Allah Almighty mentioned in the Noble Quran about Jesus, Son of Mary, peace be upon them both, I decided to write a brief overview on this subject. I compiled what I could thereof into paragraphs. In each paragraph, I refer to the subject of the verses, then mention them. I opted for brevity in doing that in order to make it easier for the reader to be aware of them and know about them. Finally, I ask Allah Almighty for help and success. I ask Him to accept what is correct and overlook what is incorrect. Indeed, He is hearing and responsive. First, how often are Jesus and His mother, peace be upon them? Both, mentioned in the Noble Quran? Ah, the mother of Jesus, Maryam bint Imran, Mary daughter of Imran, is mentioned eleven times, in verses 36, 37, 42, 43, 44, and 45 of Surat al-Imran. Verses 156 and 171 of Surat Anissa. Verses 16 and 27 of Surat Maryam. Verse 12 of Surat at Tarim. When she reached the end of her pregnancy and gave birth she was astonished as she had hoped for a boy, and she said, O Lord! I have given birth to a girl. Allah knows what she gave birth to. Of course, a girl does not have the same strength and form as a boy that she had hoped for. She said, Have named her Mary and I ask for your mercy in protecting her and her children from the rejected Satan. Allah graciously accepted the dedication and brought her up well. He made the hearts of his pious servants incline caringly to her and put her in the care of the prophet Zechariah. Whenever Zechariah would enter her place of worship he would find wholesome food there. So, he asked her, O oh Mary, where did you get this food from? She replied, This food is from Allah. Allah gives to whomever he wishes in abundance without account. Ali Imran, 36-37 Remember, O oh Messenger, when the angels said to Mary, Peace be upon her Allah has chosen you because of the praiseworthy qualities you have. He has purified you from all defects, and chosen you over all the other women of your time. O Mary, stand for long periods in prayer, prostrate to your Lord and bow down with his righteous servants who bow down to him. The story of Zechariah and Mary is one of the reports of, the Gabe, which I reveal to you, O Messenger. You were not there with those scholars and worshippers when they argued about who was most entitled to raise Mary. They eventually decided to draw lots by throwing their pens, and the pen of Zechariah, peace be upon him, won. Remember, O Messenger, when the angel said, O Mary, Allah gives you good news of a child who will be created without a father. Merely by a word from Allah, such as be, and he will become a child by Allah's will. The name of this child will be the Messiah, Jesus, son of Mary. He will have a high rank in this word and the afterlife and he will be one of those who are made close to Allah. Ali Imran, 42-45 Say, O Messenger, to the Christians who receive the gospel, do not overstep the limits in your religion and do not say anything but the truth about Allah in relation to Jesus. The Messiah, Jesus, Son of Mary, is only Allah's messenger sent with the truth. He created him by his word which he sent with Gabriel to Mary, which was the word be, and he became. It was a breath from Allah which Gabriel blew with Allah's instruction. So have faith in Allah and all his messengers without making a distinction between them. Do not say, the gods are three foot. Avoid saying this false statement and it will be better for you in this world and the afterlife. Allah is the only one God free of any partner or child. He is self-sufficient. The dominion of the heavens, the earth and whatever is in between the two is His. He is sufficient as a guardian to carry out the affairs of His creation. Anissa 171 
and I distanced them from my mercy because they disbelieved and because they falsely accused Mary of fornication. Anissa 156 And mention, O messenger, in the book revealed to you the story of Mary, peace be upon her, when she moved away from her family and stayed separately in a place to their east. Miriam, 16 Then Mary came carrying her child to her people. Her people said to her out of shock, O Mary, you have committed a grave fabricated matter, by bringing a child without a father. Miriam, 27 and Allah also mentions an example for those who have faith in him and his messengers, in the condition of Mary the daughter of Imran who safeguarded her private parts from fornication. So Allah commanded Gabriel to blow into her due to which she fell pregnant through the power of Allah with Jesus the son of Mary, without a father. She also believed in the religions of Allah and the books revealed to his messengers, and she was obedient to Allah by fulfilling his commands and refraining from the things he did not allow. Tarim 12 B. As for Jesus, peace be upon him, he is mentioned thirty-four times. By the wording Jesus, son of Mary, he is mentioned in verses 87 and 253 of Surat al-Baqarah, and verses 46, 78, 110, 112, 114 and 116 of Surat al-Ma'ida. Verse 34 of Surat Maryam, verse 7 of Surat al-Azab. Verse 27 of Surat al-Hadid, and verses 6 and 14 of Surat as saf Allah gave Moses the Torah, and followed him with other messengers. He gave Jesus, the son of Mary, clear signs of the truth of what he came with, such as bringing the dead back to life and healing the blind and the lepers. And he strengthened him with the angel Gabriel, the Holy Spirit, peace be upon him. Yet is it, O Israelites, that whenever a messenger comes to you from Allah with what does not agree with your whims, you become full of pride towards the truth. Looking down on the messengers of Allah? Do you reject a group of them and kill a group of them? Al-Baqarah, 87 Allah favored some of those messengers mentioned to you over others with respect to their revelation, followers and ranks. Some of them Allah spoke to, such as Moses, and others he granted a high rank. Such as Muhammad, peace be upon him, who was sent to the entire humankind as the last of the prophets and whose nation was preferred over all other communities. Allah gave Jesus, son of Mary, clear miracles confirming his prophethood, such as bringing the dead to life and curing the leper and the blind and supported him with the angel Gabriel to give him strength in fulfilling Allah's instruction. If Allah had willed, those that came after the messengers would not have fought amongst themselves after having received clear signs, but they disagreed and were divided. Some of them had faith in Allah, whilst others did not. If Allah had willed, they would not have fought with each other, but Allah does as He willeth. He guides whomever He wills to faith through His mercy and grace, and He does not guide whomever He wishes by His justice and wisdom. Al-Baqarah, 253 after the prophets of the Israelites, I sent Jesus, son of Mary, as a believer in the Torah, giving judgment in accordance with it. I also gave him the gospel that contained guidance to the truth and evidences to remove doubts and solve difficult cases of rulings. It corresponded to the Torah that came before it, except in a few rulings that it replaced. I made the gospel a guide and a means to restrain people from doing that which was prohibited. Almida 46 Allah, may he be glorified, tells us that he distanced the disbelievers of the Israelites from his mercy in the scripture he revealed to David, namely the Psalms. And in the scripture he revealed to Jesus, son of Mary, namely the Gospel. He did this because of the sins they committed and due to their violation of the things Allah made sacred. Almida, 78 Remember when Allah addressed Jesus, peace be upon him, and told him to remember Allah's favor to him when he created him without a father, to his mother, Mary, peace be upon her when he chose her over all the women of her time, and upon him when he strengthened him with Gabriel, peace be upon him. Allah told him that he used to speak to people as a baby, calling them to Allah, and that he used to speak to them in his adulthood, telling them what Allah had sent him with. Allah reminded him of the favor of being taught how to write, and that he taught him the Torah that he had revealed to Moses, peace be upon him, and the gospel that he revealed to him. He was reminded of the favor of being taught the secrets of the sacred law and its benefits and wisdom. Allah reminded him of how he would make the shape of a bird from clay, blow into it and it used to become a living bird. He used to cure the person who was born blind, and he would treat the leper and heal his skin. He also used to bring the dead to life by praying to Allah to give them life. All of this happened with Allah's permission. Another favor that Allah reminded him about was that Allah protected him from the Israelites when they intended to kill him after he brought to them clear miracles. The only thing they could do was to deny them, and they said, Jesus has brought nothing but plain sorcery. Almighty 110. 
Remember when the disciples said, Can you call on your Lord to send down a table from the sky? Jesus, peace be upon him, responded to them by telling them to be mindful of Allah and not to ask for such a thing, as it may prove to be a trial for them. He said to them, Place your trust in your Lord in seeking provision, if you are truly believers. Almighty, 112. Jesus gave in to their regest and prayed to Allah saying, Our Lord, send down two edible of food, so that we can hold a festival on the day it comes down in order to honor you out of gratitude. It will also be a sign and proof of your oneness and of the truth of what I have been sent with. Give us such provision that will help us worship you. You, O our Lord, are the best provider. Almighty 114. Remember that Allah will address Jesus son of Mary, peace be with him, on the day of rising and ask him whether he told people to worship him and his mother besides Allah. Jesus will reply, declaring Allah's purity, it was not right for me to tell them anything but the truth. If I had said that you would know it, because nothing is hidden from you. You know what I keep hidden within myself, but I do not know what is with you. You are the only one who knows everything that is hidden and everything that is apparent. Almighty 116. He was described with these qualities as Jesus, son of Mary. In this discussion is the word of truth regarding him, not that which is said by the misguided who doubt and disagree in his affair. Miriam, 34. O messenger, remember when I took a firm covenant from the prophets that they will worship Allah alone and not associate any partner with him, and that they will convey the revelation sent to them. And I have taken it especially from you, and from Noah, Abraham, Moses, Jesus son of Mary. I have taken a firm covenant from them to fulfill the conveying of Allah's messages they have been entrusted with. al Azab 7. Then followed them up with my messengers and I sent them one after the other to their nations. I sent after them Jesus the son of Mary and gave him the gospel, placing gentleness and mercy in the hearts of those who brought faith in him. They were affectionate and merciful to one another, but innovated extremism into their religion and left aside marriage and comforts which I had made permissible for them. I did not seek that from them, they made it necessary upon themselves and in doing so innovating in the religion. I only sought that they follow them my pleasure which they did not do, and so I granted those who believed from them their reward. However, the majority of them left my obedience by rejecting what my messenger Muhammad, peace be upon him, brought to them. al hadid 27 Remember, O messenger, when Jesus son of Mary, peace be upon him, said, O Israelites, I am Allah's messenger. He has sent me to you to confirm the Torah that was revealed before me. I am nothing new among the messengers. I have come to give the good news of a messenger who will come after me, whose name is Ahmad. When Jesus brought the evidence indicating his truthfulness to them, they said, This is clear magic, and we will never follow you. Asaf 6. O you who have faith in Allah, and who act on what he has ordained for you, become Allah's helpers by helping his religion that was brought by your messenger. Just as the disciples provided their help when Jesus, peace be upon him, told them, Who will be my helpers to Allah? They replied to him at once, We are Allah's helpers. So a group of the Israelites believed in Jesus, peace be upon him, and another group disbelieved. Then we supported those who believed in Jesus against those who rejected him and they became dominant. Asaph 14. He is mentioned by the name the Messiah Jesus, son of Mary in. Verse 45 of Surat al-Imran, and verses 157 and 171 of Surat Anissa. And by the name Jesus in verse 136 of Surat al-Baqarah, in verses 52, 55, 59 and 84 of Surat al-Imran. Verse 163 of Surat Anissa. Verse 85 of Surat al anam Verse 13 of Surat Ashura. Verse 63 of Surat Az Zukruf. Remember, O Messenger, when the angel said, O Mary, Allah gives you good news of a child who will be created without a father. Merely by a word from Allah, such as be, and he will become a child by Allah's will. The name of this child will be the Messiah, Jesus, son of Mary. He will have a high rank in this word and the afterlife and he will be one of those who are made close to Allah. Ali Imran 45 I cursed them because they proudly, but falsely, said, We killed the Messiah, Jesus, son of Mary, the messenger of Allah. They did not kill him as they claimed, nor did they crucify him, but they killed and crucified a man whom Allah made to resemble Jesus, so they thought the person who was killed was Jesus. Those Jews who claim to have killed him and those Christians who surrendered him over to them are in doubt and confusion regarding the matter. They have no knowledge, but make guesses that are of no worth against the truth.
truly, they did not kill Jesus nor crucify him. Anissa 157 Say, O messenger, to the Christians who receive the gospel, do not overstep the limits in your religion and do not say anything but the truth about Allah in relation to Jesus. The Messiah, Jesus, son of Mary, is only Allah's messenger sent with the truth. He created him by his word which he sent with Gabriel to Mary, which was the word be, and he became. It was a breath from Allah which Gabriel blew with Allah's instruction. So have faith in Allah and all his messengers without making a distinction between them. Do not say, the gods are three foot. Avoid saying this false statement and it will be better for you in this world and the afterlife. Allah is the only one God free of any partner or child. He is self-sufficient. The dominion of the heavens, the earth and whatever is in between the two is His. He is sufficient as a guardian to carry out the affairs of His creation. Anissa 171 Tell the Jews and Christians who make these baseless claims that you have faith in Allah and the Quran which He revealed to you, and in what He revealed to Abraham and his sons Ishmael and Isaac, and to Jacob, and in what He revealed to the prophets from the descendants of Jacob. Say that you have faith in the Torah which Allah gave to Moses, and the Gospel which He gave to Jesus, and in all the scriptures that He gave to every one of the prophets. No distinction between them, having faith in all of them, not only having faith in some and rejecting others. Tell them that you humbly surrender to Him alone. Al-Baqarah 136 when Jesus realized that they were going to continue in their disbelief, he addressed the Israelites, saying, Who will help me in calling towards Allah? His chosen followers said, We are the ones who will help Allah's religion. We have faith in Allah and we follow you. Be a witness, O Jesus, that we submit to Allah by accepting his oneness and following him. Ali Imran, 52 Allah also planned against them by saying to Jesus, O oh Jesus, I will take you away alive, raise your body and soul to me, rid you of the filth of those who disbelieved you and distance you from them. I will make those who follow you part of the true religion, which includes acceptance of Muhammad, peace be upon him. And they will have greater proof and might over those who disbelieve you until the day of resurrection. Then to me alone will be your return on the day of resurrection and I will pass true judgment between you regarding your differences. Ali Imran, 55 with Allah, the example of the creation of Jesus, peace be upon him, is like the creation of Adam, who was born from dust without a father or mother. Allah simply said to him, Become a man. And he became as Allah willed. How do you then assume that Jesus is a God on the basis that he has no father when you accept that Adam is human despite his having no father or mother? Ali Imran, 59. Say, O Messenger, that you have faith in Allah, doing as he instructs you and that you have faith in the revelation that was given to you, and to Abraham, Ishmael, Isaac and Jacob, and in what was revealed to the prophets among Jacob's descendants, and in the scriptures and miracles that were given to Moses, Jesus and all the prophets by their Lord. Also, say that you make no distinction between them, believing in all of them, and that you are bound to Allah alone, surrendering in devotion to Him. Ali Imran 84 I have sent revelation to you, O Messenger, as I had sent revelation to the prophets before you. This revelation to you is not something strange or unexpected. I had sent revelation to Noah and to the prophets who came after him. I sent revelation to Abraham and his two sons, Ishmael and Isaac, and to Jacob, the son of Isaac, and to the tribes, which refers to the prophets that were from the twelve tribes of the Israelites from the children of Jacob. I also gave David a book called the Psalms. Anissa 163 In a similar way, I guided Zechariah. John, Jesus son of Mary and Elijah, peace be upon them. All these prophets were of the righteous, who were chosen by Allah to be messengers. Alanam 85 He has ordained for you religious matters similar to what I instructed Noah to convey and act on and what I have revealed to you, O messenger. He has ordained for you similar to what I instructed Abraham, Moses and Jesus to convey and act on. The gist of this is, uphold the religion and leave out division therein. What you call the idolaters towards, such as the declaring the oneness of Allah and leaving out the worship of others besides Him is difficult for them. Allah chooses whichever of His servants He wills and guides them to His worship and obedience and He guides to Him those of them who return to Him by repenting from their sins. Ashura, 13 After Jesus, peace be upon Him, brought clear signs of His messengership to His people, He said to them, I have brought wisdom to you from Allah so that I can make clear to you some matters of your religion you differ in. So be mindful of Allah by fulfilling His commands and refrain from that which He has prohibited, and obey Me in whatever I command you with and prohibit you from. Indeed, Allah is my Lord and your Lord, 
we have no Lord other than Him, so devote your worship to Him alone. This monotheism that I call you towards and devotion of worship to Allah is the straight path in which there is no deviance. Az Zukruf, 63-64 Is mentioned by the name the Messiah, son of Mary in verses 17, 72 and 75 of Surat al maida Verse 31 of Surat at Taba. Those Christians who say that Allah is the Messiah, Jesus, son of Mary have committed disbelief. Say to them, O Messenger, who is able to prevent Allah from destroying the Messiah, Jesus, son of Mary, as well as his mother and all of those on earth if he wishes to do so? If no one is able to stop Allah from this, it is a clear indication that there is no God but Allah and that all of those people, Jesus, son of Mary, his mother and all of creation, are all Allah's creation. The dominion of the heavens and the earth, and whatever is between them, is Allah's. He creates whatever he wishes and one such creation of his was Jesus, peace be upon him, who is his servant and messenger. Allah is able to do all things. Nothing is outside his ability. He created Adam without a father or mother. He created Eve without a mother and he created Jesus without a father. Almina, 17 The Christians who say that Allah is the Messiah, Jesus, son of Mary have committed disbelief, as they have attributed lordship to someone other than Allah. The Messiah, Jesus, son of Mary, himself said to them, O Israelites, worship Allah alone. He is my Lord and your Lord. We are all his servants. Whoever ascribes anything as a partner to Allah, then Allah will not allow them to ever enter paradise and their place will be the fire of hell. They will have no one to help or assist them before Allah and no one to save them from the punishment that awaits them. Almida, 72 The Messiah, Jesus, son of Mary, was only a messenger like other messengers. Just as death occurs to other messengers, it will occur to him as well. His mother, Mary, was a truthful and sincere woman. Both of them were in need of and used to consume food. How can they be gods when they were in need of food? Look, O messenger, and think about how I make clear to them the signs indicating my oneness and the falsehood of their extremism in attributing lordship to others besides me. Despite this, they do not recognize these signs. Then look and think about how they are misled from the truth, despite these clear signs indicating my oneness. Almida, 75. The Jews made their rabbis lords instead of Allah, as did the Christians with their monks, by allowing them to permit what Allah had forbidden them and forbidding what Allah had allowed for them. And the Christians made the Messiah, Jesus the son of Mary, a god next to Allah. As well as Uzair and Jesus the son of Mary, to worship him alone, and not to associate anything with him. He, glory be to him, is the only God and there is nothing worthy of worship except him. He is, glory be to him, sacred, far above having any partner that these idolaters and others claim. At Taba, 31. He is mentioned by the name the Messiah in verse 172 of Surat Anissa, and verse 72 of Surat al maida Verse 30 of Surat at Taba. Jesus, son of Mary, will never be proud and reject being a servant of Allah. The close angels who do not go against Allah's instruction and who do as they are instructed will also never disregard being Allah's servants. How, then, do you take Jesus as a god? How do the idolaters take angels as gods? If anyone rejects worshipping Allah and turns away from it, that he will gather all of them before him on the day of rising and will recompense each one with what they deserve. Anissa 172 the Christians who say that Allah is the Messiah, Jesus, son of Mary have committed disbelief, as they have attributed lordship to someone other than Allah. The Messiah, Jesus, son of Mary, himself said to them, O Israelites, worship Allah alone. He is my Lord and your Lord. We are all his servants. Whoever ascribes anything as a partner to Allah, then Allah will not allow them to ever enter paradise and their place will be the fire of hell. They will have no one to help or assist them before Allah and no one to save them from the punishment that awaits them. Almida, 72. The Jews and the Christians associate partners with Allah. The Jews do so by claiming that Uzair is the son of Allah, and the Christians do so by claiming that the Messiah, Jesus, is the son of Allah. What they say with their own mouths is simply made up without any proof from Allah. By saying such things, they are similar to the idolaters before them, who said that the angels were the daughters of Allah. Allah is far above such things, may Allah destroy them. How can they turn away from the clear truth to falsehood? At Taba, 30. 
and by the name Son of Mary in verse 50 of Surat al muminin and verse 57 of Surat Az Zukruf. I also made Jesus and his mother Mary signs indicating my capability, she conceived him without a father. I granted them shelter in an elevated place on earth, and even, habitable place which had fresh flowing water. al muminin 50 When the idolaters thought that the Jesus the Christians worshipped was included in the statement of Allah the Exalted. Indeed, you, disbelievers, and what you worship other than Allah are the firewood of hell. You will be coming to, enter it. And Allah had prohibited worshipping him just like he had prohibited the worship of idols, your people, O Messenger, began persisting in argument, saying, We are pleased that our idols are of the same status as Jesus. So Allah revealed, refuting them, indeed, those for whom the best, reward, has proceeded from me they are from it far removed. And they say, Are our deities better or is Jesus better? Ibn al-Zibare and others did not draw up this comparison in love of hope in reaching the truth, rather in love of argumentation. They are a nation garrulsome in nature. Jesus, the son of Mary is nothing but a servant from the servants of Allah whom he favored with messengership and made him an example for the Israelites. They can use him as proof of the power of Allah because he created him without a father, just like he created Adam without parents. Az Zukruf, 57-59 Second, the birth of Mary, daughter of Imran, peace be upon her, the mother of Jesus. Allah Almighty says. Remember, O Messenger, when the wife of Imran, the mother of Mary, said. O Lord, I have made it a duty on myself to fully dedicate my unborn child to you, to worship you in your house, so accept this act from me. You are the one who hears my prayer and knows my intention. When she reached the end of her pregnancy and gave birth she was astonished, as she had hoped for a boy, and she said, O Lord. I have given birth to a girl. Allah knows what she gave birth to. Of course, a girl does not have the same strength and form as a boy that she had hoped for. She said, I have named her Mary and asked for your mercy in protecting her and her children from the rejected Satan. Allah graciously accepted the dedication and brought her up well. He made the hearts of his pious servants incline caringly to her and put her in the care of the prophet Zechariah. Whenever Zechariah would enter her place of worship he would find wholesome food there. So, he asked her, O oh Mary, where did you get this food from? She replied, This food is from Allah. Allah gives to whomever he wishes in abundance without account. Surat al-Imran, 35-37 Third, Allah Almighty gave glad tidings of Jesus, peace be upon him, to Mary. Allah Almighty says, Remember, O oh Messenger, when the angels said, O oh Mary, Allah gives you good news of a child who will be created without a father. Merely by a word from Allah, such as be, and he will become a child by Allah's will. The name of this child will be the Messiah, Jesus, son of Mary. He will have a high rank in our world and the afterlife and he will of those who were made close to Allah. Surat al-Imran, 45. Fourth, birth of Jesus, peace be upon him, in his speech in his cradle. Allah Almighty says. And mention, O Messenger, in the book revealed to you the story of Mary, peace be upon her, when she moved away from her family and stayed separately in a place to their east. Thus, she made for herself a veil from the people which would cover her, so that they cannot see her when she is worshipping her Lord. Then I sent Gabriel, peace be upon him, to her, thus he appeared to her in the form of a perfectly formed human. So she thought he has a malicious intention towards her. So when she saw him in the form of a perfectly formed human heading towards her, she said, I seek protection of the merciful from you that any harm should come to me from you, if you are pious and fear Allah. Gabriel, peace be upon him, said, I am not a human. I am only a messenger from your Lord who he has sent to you for me to give you a good pure child. Mary said surprisingly, How can I have a child when neither a husband nor anyone else has come near me nor am I an adulteress that I should have a child? Gabriel said to her, The matter is as you said namely that no husband or anyone else has touched you nor are you an adulteress. However, your Lord said, to create a child without a father is easy for me. And it is so that the child granted to you is a sign for people of the power of Allah, and a mercy for me to them, due to the good they will achieve through him. And the creation of this child of yours is a fixed decree from Allah and written in the preserved tablet. So she conceived him after the angel blew into her, then she withdrew with him to a place far from the people. And the pangs of childbirth struck her and made her take refuge by the trunk of a date tree. Mary said, If only I had died before this day and I was something not even mentioned, so that bad is not thought of me. Then Gabriel, or baby Jesus, called to her from the bottom of the valley, Do not grieve. 
Your Lord has made for you a spring of water beneath you from which you can drink. And hold the trunk of the tree and shake it, it will instantly drop fresh ripe dates on you. So eat of the ripe dates, drink of the water, and be pleased with your child, and do not grieve. And if you see any person who asks you regarding the child, say to him, I have bound myself to silence for my Lord's sake, so will not speak to any person today.